What if period films had to be completely historically accurate? They'd suck hard. Letting Hollywood take license with the inconveniently boring facts of actual history is what's made America the number one non-three-hour dance-based film exporter in the world, and 108th in world history test scores. Don't believe me? Let's see how some great movies would have been ruined by being anything other than utter bullshit. Remember this dude? From Gladiator and then your nightmares? Well, in real life, Commodus was actually a pretty decent emperor who ruled for a healthy 13 years before a wrestler took him out in a nude bathhouse. Yum! Or take Braveheart Guy. In reality, William Wallace was actually a well-funded militant separatist with extreme political views who attacked a larger, more organized society using guerrilla tactics and no regard for civilian casualties. His biggest attack? Pulled on September 11th. Never forget, even in the past. The Cold Mountain guy was real, but there's no record of him abandoning his post for love. There's just a record of him abandoning his post. Twice. And now he's Jude Law. Mozart and Salieri were friends. Mayans didn't really sacrifice hearts to Kukulkan, and by all accounts, Rudy is kind of a prick. Oh, and speaking of pricks, every one of the 300 dudes was both boned by an older man as a child and boned a child before leaving for battle, which explains why they're so handy with spears, but not the slow-mo, painted abs, or monster man. I mean, for God's sake, the Patriot would have been about a guy burning churches, slaughtering unarmed Cherokee, and raping his female slaves. That's what the real guy Mel Gibson was playing did, over here in life, where everything is awful. So do the right thing and help keep historical accuracy out of our movies. It's like they say, study history or else you're doomed to improve upon it in the film version. Roll sound. Roll cameras. And action. Hey guys, we've got a lot of requests in the comments to do one of those Harlem Shake videos and we've been waiting so long to do one. So that's an excuse to do it. Here we go. Here's our Harlem Shake. No, we're not, we're not doing that. We're working. Hey guys, subscribe to our videos, thanks. Alright, no one.